What's good everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Nintendo's financials. We've got all of the numbers, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Very excited about what's been reported for this game. Also Splatoon 3 and updates to all of the top 10 and a bit more, plus the overall Nintendo Switch sales up to date. So it's going to be a pretty good ride to go through everything here. But before we get into it, Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're someone new, and click that notification bell to get my videos first. Now the big news that I know a lot of you guys want to jump right into and what it means is Xenoblade Chronicles 3. These sales are exactly where I thought they would be and what I had hoped for before the launch of Xenoblade Chronicles 3 when I made multiple videos talking about how this is going to be the best selling Xenoblade game and Monolith Soft game of all time when it's all said and done and it seems like that is the case here from the starting sales so we'll hop into that and then we'll get into the other games now Xenoblade Chronicles 3 has sold an impressive 1.72 million units since July 29th but you have to remember the sales numbers for this period are from July to September so July to September it tracks those so it does not track October and it's not tracking where we've gotten through so far in November so it is for the previous quarter very impressive in my opinion this easily beats out Xenoblade Chronicles definitive edition it's already outsold that game on the nintendo switch so that is impressive right there and it's right on track to hit 2 million units maybe by the end of the year or early 2023 because the sales of xenoblade are still continuing to go now those sales were bolstered by very strong special editions those were sold out i know it was tough to get one and it was a pain just to even go through everything but apparently those sold pretty well along with the standard and digital version of the game once again this is the best launching xenoblade game of all time beating out definitive edition beating out xenoblade chronicles 2 in terms of launch sales and 1.27 million units the game launched at the very end of july and once again those sales are tracked up to september so to see the game do that well is very very impressive and very good bringing in quite a bit of revenue for Monolith Soft and of course for Nintendo as Nintendo does own Monolith Soft as they work on their next RPG which I did discuss I have a link for you guys in the description below Monolith Soft's next gen RPG that they are working on so very happy for the team shout outs to Takahashi and crew and congratulations because to me Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is pretty much my game of the year for 2022 it's a phenomenal game that I highly recommend for any action rpg fans out there it kind of rewrites the playbook when it comes to open world action rpgs in my opinion console based ones with its seamless battles and so much customization and depth and it's only getting better plus there's dlc that's coming out that's keeping things fresh and there's going to be a big story expansion in 2023 so you're going to want to get in on that and it seems like millions of people are going to be doing just that so shout outs to everybody who bought the game xenoblade chronicles 3 is absolutely incredible now we do have some updates to other games as well which is very exciting mario strikers battle league is at 2.17 million units Kirby and the Forgotten Land is at 5.27 million units. That is the best selling Kirby game of all time right there. So very good for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Very impressed what that game has done. I think that it's a incredible game that is really good. It has some really good uh, moments in the game that really stick out compared to previous Kirby games. The graphics look great. It looks incredible on the OLED. It runs great. It's a very well-polished game, and I'm very happy for HAL because they've had huge success with this game, so this is going to carry them on to the next thing, and I hope that the next Kirby game is that they really take what they did with Kirby and the Forgotten Land and evolve it. I think that this is worthy 
of a sequel considering these sales here for the next generation switch it would be dope if we got kirby in the forgotten land 2 or something that builds upon what they've done here bump that up to 60 frames per second add even more challenges maybe add in some online co-op i think that would be the move for them with kirby and they can bump those sales up even higher if they do a dual release with nintendo switch and the next gen nintendo switch so very good there nintendo switch sports continues to do very well 6.15 million units splatoon 3 another big one here this launched at the beginning of september so it's just the first three weeks of sales and it has sold 7.90 million units with 5 million units of that being in japan goodness gracious the game is a monster in japan very good there but overall very good sales and those sales have continued past september if you count up october i definitely think that this game is well over or right at 10 million units because it's continued to blaze a super trail in japan and done well here in the u.s and in europe so incredible for splatoon 3 very happy for the game it's very well made and i think that things are going to get even a bigger bump with the collaboration that's going on with splatoon 3 splatfest and also pokemon scarlet and violet and of course the holiday season parents picking up the game for their kids so i don't think splatoon 3 sales is going to stop anytime soon it's almost already hit where splatoon 2 sales are it's fast approaching and it's only been three weeks with the counting of the sales here so very good once again for that mario party superstars 8.07 million units pokemon legends arceus at a very good 13.91 million units i see that game getting a sequel or getting a follow-up in a different region i think pokemon legends arceus is fantastic good to see that it almost sold 14 million units at this point Next up is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee at 14.81 million units. Ring Fit Adventure at 14.87 million units. Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl at 14.92 million units. Super Mario Party at 18.35 million units. Super Mario Odyssey at 24.40 million units. Pokemon Sword and Shield at 25.37 million units. Zelda Breath of the Wild getting closer and closer to that 30 million. Something tells me before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will hit the 30 million mark. 27.79 million units there so very good for breath of the wild my favorite zelda game of all time and one of my favorite games of all time super smash brothers ultimate tacking on some more units almost at 30 million which is crazy because it's going to outsell like all the previous smash brothers games combined at this rate when it's all said and done so very good for super smash brothers still my favorite smash game of all time favorite fighting game of all time right there super smash brothers ultimate and i've got some surprises for you guys because i got a video on what they're doing next in my opinion with the future of the series next up animal crossing hits the 40 million club which is just insane animal crossing new horizons 40.17 million units and mario kart 8 deluxe at 48.41 million units this is crazy when it comes down to it now the full lineup that was it for the million sellers. There's a lot more. Nintendo doesn't detail it. For those that are looking for Metroid Dread, Nintendo does not report on it because it's out of the quarter or whatever they're talking about there. So unfortunately, we don't have that there. But once again, Metroid Dread already the best selling Metroid game of all time. In my opinion, I feel that it is over that 3 million mark. And of course, there's a bunch of other games Nintendo has not listed here as well. Now, we're also going to talk about the Nintendo Switch itself. It's at... 114.33 million nintendo sold quite a bit of systems they were a bit down i think year on year for their sales but still sold well over 3 million units for the past quarter which is really good now nintendo did go over a full business highlight talking about what happened through here now remember guys these sales it is from the past quarter so you have to also factor that in everything sold pretty well here obviously splatoon did well nintendo switch sports mario strikers xenoblade chronicles they listed all of that in their briefing they talked about the cumulative sales of mario kart 8 deluxe which we went over 48 million units which is why we haven't seen another mario kart yet i guess at this point nintendo please 
give us Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart 10 or Mario Kart Crossroads, whatever you want to call it. Please, let's just do something here. They talked about the total software sales, how that grew 1.6% year on year to 95.41 million units. However, hardware unit sales decreased by 19.2% year on year to 6.68 million units due to the factors such as the shortage of the semiconductors and other component supplies. So this was something that was a topic people saying, oh, well, look, sales are decreasing because they need to move on to the next thing. There's not the demand, but Nintendo has once again stated, which they already said before, but people conveniently forgot or don't care that it's because of the shortage of the semiconductors and other component supplies because the units are still moving. Whenever Nintendo ships to stores, those units are selling. It's not like there's a bunch of stock just sitting on store shelves. In Japan, there was many sellouts or low stock where you just couldn't find the system. So it's not like they're just sitting there and people aren't buying it. People are buying it because there's tons of games coming out. So that's unfortunate that there is that much of a decrease, but what can you do? There is that semiconductor and other component supplies that's causing issues there. Now, when it comes to the digital games business, Nintendo Switch downloadable versions of package software sold well. The Nintendo Switch online sales also increased. In addition to sales of add-on content rose, not only for Nintendo titles, but also for titles from other software publishers, along with sales of download-only titles, helping push digital sales to 187.8 billion yen, up 30.2% year on year, a 30% increase in digital sales. And that's because of the vast amount of software that came out from first and third party. I think independent developers had a very good year on the Nintendo Switch as well. But I noticed the even like big full priced titles, stuff like Pokemon Legends, you know, stuff like Mario Kart, whatever the case is, right? Xenoblade Chronicles, these games had really big runs on the eShop where people are buying them. So that is pushing the sales digitally that they're getting and the revenue up higher and higher. Oh, goodness gracious, that digital only next gen Nintendo Switch model might be a thing based off of these digital sales here. Now, also royalty income was stable, but income from smart device content declined with the result that overall sales in our mobile and IP related business totaled 23.5 billion yen down 7.5% year on year, which is actually a smaller percentage drop than I thought. Considering Nintendo's not doing much new when it comes to mobile games, it's just like Fire Emblem and that's really it. Dragalia Lost is shut down and all that. So it's not like they're really trying too hard in the mobile space. Now, Nintendo did get into more of what's going on with the semiconductor shortage and what's happening with that. So let's go ahead and get into what they had to say. While there is a gradual improvement in semiconductor and other component supplies and a recovery trend in hardware manufacturing for Nintendo Switch, taking into consideration production and sales performances thus far, we have modified the Nintendo Switch hardware sales forecast for the fifth fiscal year by continually working to front load production and selecting appropriate transportation methods in preparation for the holiday season. We will work to deliver as many consoles as possible to consumers in every region of the world. As for software, we have the release of Bayonetta 3, which obviously that game is awesome. Been number one on the eShop for a while, not sure if it still is, but it's doing pretty well on the eShop so far and on Amazon sales, followed by Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet in November. That is the most pre-ordered game of all time for the COMG. Look out for a big launch in Japan, maybe 3 million units plus. Fire Emblem Engage in January 2023, which I'm super excited for. One of my most anticipated games outside of Tears of the Kingdom. And Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe in February 2023, which I completely forgot was even launching in February 2023. Now, other software publishers also plan to release a wide variety of compelling titles, and we will work to invigorate the platform with this continuous stream of new titles combined with the popularity of existing titles. So... Awesome stuff all around for the Nintendo Switch. I think that they did really well um, when it comes to the sales and everything. The software releases were consistent. That's how Nintendo's been able to continue these sales in this year when it comes to Nintendo Switch. It's getting pretty long in the tooth. People are clamoring for the next gen Switch and stuff like that, but the sales are still pretty good. And Nintendo has stated here that really it's the semiconductor shortage that's causing them to not have enough. We saw recently in Japan, there's been some decreasing when it comes to the sales of the Nintendo Switch and sellouts and stuff or low stock 
stock or just not having switches at all which nintendo did state here which i actually talked about this that nintendo's stocking up and trying to load it for the holiday season so people don't walk into a store to buy splatoon 3 on the nintendo switch in japan and they can't find it because splatoon is going to be the big system seller and along with pokemon in japan for the nintendo switch for nintendo so they're gonna have to make sure that they have enough stock there and of course here in the u.s you've got that mario kart 8 deluxe bundle which i get it it's boring trust me i want them to do something else but that is a very popular bundle and it's like a if it's not broke don't fix it type of thing for that so they need to make sure that they have enough units for that so that's what i suspected was going on and it looks like it's a confirmation here based on what nintendo is saying i think that they are going to evolve the nintendo switch formula and all that this is a winning formula so I think they're going to stick with it and kind of just go a bit more in there and, of course, add in new things. Very good to see Xenoblade Chronicles 3 sell so well, blowing away Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition already on the Nintendo Switch, beating out the launch of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 by a good amount and becoming the fastest selling model of soft game of all time, fastest selling Xenoblade Chronicles game of all time, which is very, very encouraging for the future of model of soft games and of course the future of the Xeno universe, whatever they decide to do next and all that. So what are your thoughts when it comes to everything here with the nintendo switch sales with the software sales i'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell and we will see you for the next video peace